What's up guys and welcome back to Software Knowledge Solutions and today we're talking about Rust and its latest updates. Now Rust has recently released their Solid Foundation update which came out on the 5th of October and a couple of other updates, community updates and then Airborne as well in September. And there's a couple of updates that I have missed and today I'm going to show you the best settings that you can use in your window settings, in the game settings and all you're going to need to do is follow my guidelines and you should be good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, if this video worked for you, smash that like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're on New Year. Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's make this short, sweet and simple, let's jump straight into this video. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so the first thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do is you're going to come to the search button over here at the bottom and you're going to type in settings just like this or you can just go to the start button over here and go to settings like this and then come inside the Windows settings. You're going to come to Gaming over here, and you're going to go over here where it says Xbox Game Bar. You're going to turn this off, uncheck this box, and then you're going to go to Captures, come over here, and just copy my settings as they are over here. Unless you use this, then you can go ahead and tweak this the way you want it. I don't use this at all. I actually use my NVIDIA graphics card to capture stuff. I don't use the capture in here. All right, you're going to come to Game Mode. I highly recommend... At this very moment with the latest update for rust i highly recommend that you go ahead and keep this on right now especially for nvidia users if you are an nvidia user please go ahead and use this amd also benefits from this so i highly recommend just in general switching this one on from here you're going to go to graphics settings and you're going to come inside here now as you can see i have hardware accelerated gpu scheduling turned off this time and i highly recommend you go ahead and do the exact same thing please go ahead and turn this off right now for the latest update now with the previous update this being turned on actually benefited people now this being turned off actually benefits people so I highly recommend you go ahead and turn this off now if yours is on like this and you go ahead and turn it off it's going to ask you to restart your computer don't worry about that you're going to restart your computer in any ways once you're done watching my video and you applied every single setting then you can go ahead and restart your computer and then go into your game and check how your game is running if it runs any better come back to my video leave a comment leave a like subscribe I would really appreciate it all right now, I highly do recommend that you go ahead and switch this off if yours is on. And then I highly recommend you go ahead and add your Rust inside here. Now, a lot of people don't have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on your machine. Don't worry, I got you covered. So you're just going to, I'm just going to remove this one because I actually have to remove it to add it again. So you go to browse over here and you go to where your games are installed. So mine is over here. Then I go to Steam install and then I go to Steam apps. You go to common and you click on anything and press R and then you're going to find Rust. You're going to come here and you're going to go to the Rust EXE file, which is the largest file over here and click on the Rust itself. You're going to say add and you're going to come inside here. Now it says let Windows decide. You don't want it to do that. You're going to click on options and you're going to click on high performance. So it selects your dedicated graphics card. You're going to say save and then once you're done with this, you're going to click on the home button. From here, you're going to go to privacy and you're going to scroll all the way down to where you see it says background apps. Now I highly recommend you go ahead and do this if you are a Windows 10 user. You're going to go from on to off. So all of these programs aren't running in the background while you are playing Rust. Rust already takes very long to load into the game, so you don't want anything running in the background using resources like your RAM, your CPU, and your VRAM usage. You don't want to do that, so please go ahead and turn your background apps off. If you are a Windows 11 user, you're going to have to individually turn these things off by disabling them. I'm not going to spoon feed you anymore. Just go ahead and Google how to do that. It's very easy to do. Just go ahead and Google. It. All right, let's jump straight into the next step. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the next step I highly recommend you go ahead and do is this over here. You're going to come to the search button over here and you're going to type in edit power plan just like this and you're going to click on edit power plan. You're going to come to power options over here and you're going to go to create a power plan. You're going to click on high performance and you're going to delete everything inside here and this could be for Rust but this settings is for every single game but it makes Rust run really really well. So you can say here best settings for Rust or you could just put their best settings for 2023. Whatever the case might be, you could put anything inside here. Just make sure you put high performance here and say next. 
Now you're going to say never, never, obviously. If you're on a laptop, you can obviously change this to your own personal preference, but desktop users, never and never. You're going to say create, and then there it says best settings for Rust. You're going to click on change plan settings, and you're going to come over here where it says change advanced power settings. Come inside here. Now this plays a very big role for people out there that has Rust on a mechanical drive. They don't have it on a solid state drive, or they don't have it on an M.2, or any newer drives in general. They're running the game on like a hard drive i do this and i still play my game on a solid state drive and i still go ahead and do this so you're going to delete everything inside here and press zero and click on anything inside here then it's going to say turn off hard disk after never and you want it to look like this okay scroll down to where you see it says process and power management you're going to click on this and go to minimum processor state and then maximum processor state now if you're on a laptop it's going to say plugged in or on battery on battery, you put it at 50% and over here also 50% on battery. But plugged in, 100%, 100%. PC users, obviously just 100%, 100% and you should be good to go. You're going to say apply and OK and let's jump straight into the next step. All right, so something that plays a very big role on your machine itself, and I highly recommend you go ahead and do this, maybe like every month or every couple of months, please go ahead and do this. It plays a very big role on your machine itself. You're going to come to the search button over here and type in CMD, and then it's going to say command prompt. You're going to right click on it and say run as administrator, and then say yes to the command prompt and come inside here. Now you're going to get a box like this, and then you're going to type in SFC spacebar forward slash scan now one word just like this and press enter what it will do for you is it will actually go through every single drive on your machine and fix corrupt files it will automatically fix any corrupt file on your machine it doesn't matter if you're a windows 10 or a windows 11 user please go ahead and do this if you have never done this ever please go ahead and do it right now at this very moment please scan your machine you're going to just press enter and then just wait it out and it will actually fix corrupt files for you if you don't have any corrupt files you can just close out of it if it says that it's fixed corrupt files you can also just close out of it and you should be good to go all right let's jump straight into the next step all right ladies and gentlemen so this is for nvidia users if you are an nvidia user like me all you're going to need to do is right click on your desktop and open up nvidia control panel and let nvidia control panel open and you're going to do this over here you're going to go to adjust image settings with preview and you're going to come over here and make sure you have this option selected where it says use the advanced 3d image settings and click on take me there it's basically just going to take you to manage 3d settings and you're going to come inside here now i highly recommend all you're going to need to do is copy every single thing i have inside here all right these plays a very big role on the game itself these settings and these tweaks all right so OpenGL rendering GPU you're going to select your dedicated graphics card power management mode prefer maximum performance shader cache 100 gigs it actually helps with stuttering in the game you're going to have this on allow high performance on on and then off these are all virtual reality things you do not need this from here you're going to go to apply at the bottom and then go to config surround and physics and you're going to come to the physics over here now the physics is what your gpu is handling with the graphics settings and everything inside your game so i highly recommend you go over here and you select your dedicated graphics card please go ahead and do that if you have an apu unit a lot of people don't even know what apu units are it's basically a cpu that has a gpu built into it if you have one of those you're just going to select cpu but but most people out there like 95 percent of the gaming community has dedicated graphics cards so just go ahead and select your gpu over here and then say apply now don't worry your screen might flash a couple of times it's just there to apply the settings for you from here you're going to go to adjust desktop color settings and you're going to come inside here now as you can see i have three monitors and i'm on my current monitor right now which is my main display this one over here if you have one monitor don't worry about it you're just going to be on that one monitor the first one is going to be the brightness. I keep it at 50%. You can change the brightness inside your games rather than in here. Change it inside your games, okay? You're going to come over here where it says contrast. You're going to put this to 65. The gamma at 1.00, which is its default settings. And then your digital vibrance. You're going to click on image 3 or reference image. And you're going to come over here. You're going to pull this all the way down to 0. And you'll see your screen goes black and white. If you pull it all the way up to 50%, which is the default settings, your windows and your screen will look washed out. You don't want that. You want your game to pop and you want your windows to look better. You want everything to look better. All your games, not just Rust, but especially Rust. You're going to pull this up from 50% to 65 to 75 to 80 
to 85 it's your own personal preference mine is 95 and it's always been my own personal preference over here is 95 this is my sweet spot for my screen and it makes my games pop a fuck ton and it makes the game look really really good all right from here you're just going to apply these settings all right let's jump straight into the game let me show you the best settings you can use for rust latest update all right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in the game right now, and welcome to the latest update for Rust. And as you can see, I'm doing about 100 FPS right now at this very moment, and this is the settings that I'm using to achieve 100 FPS. So this is basically my normal default settings that I use for, so my game looks really good. Now I'm going to give you basically competitive settings that you can go ahead and use. So this is my graphics settings over here. And then this is my image effects over here. And then this is my experimental and this is what i have on now let me show you the comparison of me changing the settings and then what you should be changing as well please go ahead and do it there's a new setting in this game as well that i highly recommend you take advantage of and i'm going to go ahead and show you that right now all right let's jump into the comparison all right ladies and gentlemen so this is a comparison i'm doing about 30 fps more now when i do not record because i am recording right now with obs when i don't record i do 20 fps more so you should be hitting 150 160 fps with this specific settings all you're going to need to do is copy these settings that i have over here you're going to press escape and you're going to come to the graphic settings and you're going to copy everything i have inside here as is you can just pause my video I highly recommend you just pause my video and copy everything I have inside here. On plus boost is a very big role. I highly recommend you go ahead and put that on over there. And then this is a new option in the game. Global rendering. Now you do need to restart the game after changing this from off to on or on to off. And then this is the global render distance. This is its defaults. Now if you've got a good enough CPU and GPU, you can go ahead and switch this on and then restart your game. Now this option will render things in for you that's further away. And I highly recommend take advantage of this if your machine can handle it if it can't and you see an fps decrease once you switch this on i highly recommend switching it off and then restarting your computer right from here you're going to go to image effects and this is what you're going to need to use this you're going to put on tssaa off 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 and only sharpening on over here and then you're going to go to experimental and come over here and off off and then off and then have this on this this is faster loading times and i highly recommend you go ahead and use this one over here this is for people out there that's running this on a hard drive or ssd whatever the case might be if the game takes too long to render in and just load in in general this hard helps a lot have this like this and it will help your game a lot ladies and gentlemen if this worked for you leave a like leave a comment subscribe to me to the channel for your new year and as always peace out